Hello. So welcome to my channel. My name is River Joy. Um, welcome back if you're watching the videos. Today is the first entry of 2018. So, oh, let me make sure. That, okay, yeah. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. So the first entry of 2018. Sorry, I was just making sure that there was no um, names in that part. Anyway, let's just jump right into it. January 16th, 2018. 1-16-18. I, I am about to complain a little again. This is my first entry of the year, so that isn't really getting off on a good note. But I have a whole lot on my mind, and I don't want to keep annoying my friends with my annoying feelings. I look back at old entries in this journal and I just want to scream. There are so many times that I was doing so well. When I read the July 29th entry, I can't help but tear up. I know, I'm, I, know I may look back someday and roll my eyes at my sad obsession of my young love, but I've never felt feelings this piercing before. Not just heartbreak. Every step of the whole young love process feels unreal. It started off as best friends. He hyped me up, smoked me up, cheered me up. Then it moved to us talking, brand new feelings that were never there before. Before then, I could look at him and I wouldn't crave his kiss. That was different now. Then we got in a huge fight. That only made us realize that we didn't want to be apart because even though we hated each other, we loved each other. So we started dating. That sounds like a great plan that's not toxic at all. That was sarcasm if you didn't pick that up. Also, there's like some construction going on, so sorry, but hopefully this mic kind of cuts that out a little bit. Um, but yeah, the huge fight, I literally like dropped him off somewhere and like skirted off. My door was open and he looked at me like I was crazy because I was crazy. I still am a little crazy. Oh, also, I just want to say, in the past, when I say, like, anything about meds, I'm not calling anyone else crazy, okay? Taking meds, taking care of yourself, taking care of your mental health, you are not crazy, okay? I promise. Unless, unless you're not afraid of that word. I reclaim that word because so many people in my life have called me crazy, have called me psycho, have called me all kinds of, like, mean things for so long that I'm like, okay, I'm gonna reclaim that word and I'm gonna call myself that and I don't care. Like, you know, I'm reclaiming that so that when someone else calls me crazy, I can just say, thank you, you know, like, but I'm not calling you guys crazy. I don't think that you're crazy if you take care of your mental health. I think that's beautiful. So sorry if you're like, if you took that the wrong way or the way that I didn't mean it to be taken because I don't think you're crazy, baby. I think you're smart and I'm proud of you for taking care of yourself. Um, Anyways, I was crazy. I'm a little crazy. So everyone knew we were perfect for each other. It was no secret we, bought, we brought out the best in each other. We also brought out the worst in each other. I had my guard up for a while. He was determined and careful while he took it down. He earned my trust. I let myself fall in love with him. This is the little blackbird that I'm talking about still. I couldn't even create a scenario where he would hurt me. Young love, it's... Lo young love is the most confusing and beautiful thing I've ever known. Despite everyone telling you that you're not old enough to fall in love, you cannot come up with another explanation for doing everything in your power to be with someone. It's like Romeo and Juliet, but, but they were like 12. He was the first person I had ever truly felt that for. Also, back in the olden days, people got married at like 12. So, you know, like obviously that's pedophilia too young in my opinion but I mean it goes to show that young love is not fake so if you are young and you feel like you love someone that's valid baby um but just be careful and protect your heart because they'll crush you um so far this last part of the journey has been the worst the heartbreak he never cheated lied or did anything well I don't know that for sure he probably did um not cheat, I'm not accusing him, but he probably lied. He definitely lied to me many times, but anyways. He never cheated, lied, or did anything to only intentionally hurt me. Maybe we really were just too young, 
we we were too young. He's not a bad person, and I'm I love him still. Like not like in love with him, but I love him, and I I wish nothing but the best for him and his and his um, current girlfriend. I wish nothing but the best for them. I think that they're they're great for each other. Hopefully, I don't know anything really, but hopefully, like I just wish the best for them. Um, but no one will ever truly know all the circumstances. He has seen things that no one should ever have to see, let alone a kid. He has only ever been treated like he doesn't deserve happiness or to be loved. This is some of why it has been impossible to fall out of love with him. So March 11th, I didn't write the year, but um, it's still 2018. I said, life feels like I'm constantly going in circles. That was probably my bipolar disorder um, before I was ever diagnosed. Today, I cried. They were not sad tears. For the past month, I've been incredibly happy. I waited a long time to write down my happiness in this journal because I don't want it to feel fake. I don't want it to feel like just another happy cycle. Bear, and then I spelled bear, like uh, bear, and then I fixed it to bear. B-A-R-E. English is so confusing. You should definitely learn another language because it teaches you a different way to think. Um, I can't speak any other language fluently yet, but I'm trying to learn a lot of different languages. I truly feel like, and when I was a little kid, I used to say that if I had any superpower, it would either be flying, teleportation, or translation, like being able to speak any language. And Hey, in, in a certain perspective, I have all those superpowers. In a certain perspective. Um, I truly feel like I'm... I truly feel like a new chapter is beginning in my life. Blue pen days. Oh, uh, yeah, so blue pen days. Okay, so that's when it was the first entry of this entire book that I wrote in blue. I didn't change the color intentionally, but maybe it is supposed to look different than the rest of the book. My doctor wanted to have me start taking Zoloft recently. Two months ago, I would have taken the pills. About a month and a half ago, I changed a lot about my my life. I started getting really healthy, changed my diet, cut out junk food and dairy, work out at least five times a week, and changed my mindset. I've been truly happy. I've lost about 20 pounds so far. My jeans are too big when they used to be too tight. It's crazy how happy being healthy can make you. I'm working on forgiveness. Oh my gosh, I also think that this is the first entry I ever signed my name. Okay. Forgiving my sister, little blackbird, and myself. I had a lot of trauma with my older sister, but we have an amazing relationship now, so that's cool. Um, I just want to be better, not only for me, but for everyone around me. My mom found out everything my sexual history, and all my mistakes. That was hard, but our relationship has not suffered because of it. I feel so happy. I have sad days, but they are only brief moments. I'm getting a tattoo this week, I think. You are a treasure. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see where I go. Life is looking so beautiful. And then I'm going to cover his name. But I wrote River Joy. And that was the first time... Oh, hopefully his name wasn't in there. River Joy. I think it might have been in there. If it is, I'll block it out out of respect, you know. Um, But then, yeah, so this is the tattoo. I actually did get it that week. I don't know if this angle is great. But it says, you are a treasure in my mama's handwriting. And then, okay. So that was in March. And then I moved to California in July. And so August 1st, 2018. Wow, it has been a while since I wrote. So I guess I should catch you. So I guess I should catch you up. August first, twenty eighteen. Did I say that? Bad memory. Um, I guess we were kind. Oh, so I went to prom with this kid named, and I said his name, but I, I, I'm not gonna say it. Um, I guess we were kind of falling in love, but not really. It was the closest I've been to this kind of falling in love since Little Blackbird. I've lost like 60 pounds or something crazy. Um, And then 
I say someone's name, we'll call him Runner. Runner, I don't know if I've ever talked about him in here, told me I was the only girl he's ever loved, and I effed him up and ruined his chances of falling in love. I moved to California. Ooh. I thought I was pregnant because I was 19 days late. Oh, this is going to be really, this is really exposing me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Yeshua Homoshua. Is this right? Okay. Whew. If I would have been pregnant, I wouldn't have known if it was somebody's or somebody else's baby. But I was 90% sure it would have been the first one's. <laughs> so I was only going to tell him about it. But I got my period today, hallelujah, because that sounds like a horrible, horrible, horrible decision in a bad situation. Very Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia, here we go again. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Please don't judge me, guys. I'm opening up to you so that other people don't feel alone and so you guys don't feel alone and so I can be an open book and because I feel like I'm supposed to be doing this. So, oh wow, please don't judge me. That's so, <laughs> very Mamma Mia. Oh wow, okay. I made a really good playlist. Okay, thank God. Okay, we're done talking about that. I made a really good playlist the other day. I named it Vibes. Here are some of the artists on it for future reference. You know, to remember what I listened to back in the day. So, um, Saint Motel, Noah Cahan, Birdie, Vance Joy, Andrew McCannon, The Paper Kites, Sophie Myers, Ole Vase, Always, but it's two V's. Um, Billie Eilish, The Wombats, Declan McKenna, Coconut Records. My timer's going off. Um, Emmy, Florence and the Machine, Halsey, Harry Styles, Hozier, um, Johnny Yang, Kings of Leon, Neon Trees, Roy Blair, Rex Orange County, Sister Brother, The Strokes, Sundial, SZA, The Wombats. Those are all great. Mmm, she got good taste. Now I'm going to go listen to that playlist if I can find it. Um, there are more, but I listed a lot. You're welcome, I said. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. I've been writing a lot of songs and making a lot of YouTube videos. Oh, let's do a little thumbnail. Um, I was thinking about that yesterday. Cool, that's all we need. Um, I was like, I want to I make sure I... Because lately I've just been screenshotting, but I wanted to actually start getting thumbnails again because y'all been sleeping on my videos and it's not about me I don't care how many views I get but I do want people to like have this resource to see like oh wow I'm not alone and if and if I'm not doing it like right then no one's gonna have the opportunity so anyways I digress <sighs> I've been writing lots of songs and making lots of YouTube videos Oh, yeah, so, oh, this was a fun time in my YouTube career because this is when, like, some of my videos started blowing up, and it was just so exciting. Um, I also have been shopping a lot and putting together insanely cute outfits and taking nice Insta pics. I have a really cute room, and I live where I have always wanted to live. I am still in love with Little Blackbird. Okay, now you're caught up. Now let's get to my feelings and stuff. So I'm going to be a senior in high school this year. That feels crazy. I have always had all of these crazy expectations of what it would feel like. I don't feel like a 17 year old at all. I still feel like a kid. Is that how everyone feels? I remember being in eighth grade and looking at the seniors like they were already adults. And the only reason that they were still in high school was to fulfill an obligation. Cause you know when you're little and you're like, oh my gosh, what are those grown ass people doing here? Um, but looking back, it's like, oh my gosh, like my little brother is gonna be a senior and he does look like a man now, but he's chilling, my little baby bird. Um, did they feel like kids who were about to fall off the deep end and pushed into the abyss of life? Wow, I'm gonna show you guys this page too cause that's kinda like, that's what it looks like. I don't think there's any names on there, period. Okay. I feel like I am on borrowed time, like everyone is counting down the days to graduation, but I want the days to freeze. Like Everyone's posting Senior Sunday, and I'm like, no, I don't want to be a senior, I'm scared. I'm not ready for adulthood. 
Through the years, I've watched people post their senior pics on Instagram with the caption, 290 days or whatever days until graduation. And now it, and it always felt normal. Now I'm watching my classmates do it and it feels off, like a toddler putting on their mom and dad's outfits and pretending to be grown-ups. I don't know. I guess I just find it odd that people are always trying to be older than they are or excited for time to pass because it feels like a rite of passage. I am having a mini identity crisis. I am both completely comfortable in who I am but I have an idea of what, but I have no idea what I'm going to do. And I wish I could change myself all the time. Oh, I wish I could change myself at the same time. I want to fast forward and turn, I want to fast forward and turn back time. But living in the moment is important. Also, that was the only entry, the last one I did in blue. It was the only one in blue, and then I went back to black, so that's cool and weird. I don't know why I did that. Um, I am both scared and excited. Excuse me, I just burped. I might have another one. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Sorry, guys, sorry. Girls burp. <laughs> Surprise! Um, I'm not ready to move out, but I don't want to live with my family. Oh. That's not true, guys. I was going through something, okay? I love you guys. I wish I could live with all you guys again, I promise. I'm sorry, Mommy and Daddy. And Ren and Sam and Daniel and Kai and Joshua and Evie Lynn and Avi Liev. I said them all, it sounded short. Um, and Gracie, up there in heaven. She's waiting for us. Um, I'm just trying to explain where my head is at right now. I think I will feel better when school starts, which is in two weeks, if I didn't already write that. I think, I think it's all right that my head is better, that my head is kind of all over the place. Better that than only focusing on being depressed and sad. I'm not really sad anymore. Confused, crazy, indecisive, a mess, yes but also creative and happy and healthy and, and healthy. So gay, you know? And that is the last entry of 2018. And then it goes right into 2019, February 1st, 2019. So that is where we will start off next time. But, ooh, that one like totally exposed me. Mm, sorry guys. I'm like sweating a little bit, a little nerve wracking. Um, that was the second time today I've seen, you know those like um, dandelions? First of all, dandelions are the official flowers for military kids because whew, you blow them and they spread all over the country. My mom told me that. And, oh wow, I oh, perfect. I had this in my bag. Yeah, so see, this is what my mom gave me for my dad's retirement. And um, I, that was the second time today I've seen dandelion seeds that have like they're starting to sprout and that was the second time today i've seen a dandelion seed the i can't talk in this video wow a dandelion seed float across so that was kind of cool but um where was i going with this think 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 i think i just totally got i don't even know what i, I don't even know what i was saying but Oh yeah, that one totally exposed me. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm super, totally scatterbrained today. Um, my, what's it called? Psychologist? No. My psychiatrist or whatever? She said I didn't have to take my ADHD mes medicine over the summer, just my bipolar meds, and I am taking them, don't worry. Um, but she said I didn't have to take my ADHD meds over the summer because I'm not focusing on school. But I'm a scatterbrain because I'm not. Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for bearing with me. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Two days. Two days until I turn 21. Two days till I turn 21. Anyways, I love you guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. Mwah, mwah, mwah.